Hello, this is Joe Gailey, and I want to thank you for tuning in to this, our final installment on divorce and business and what the business owner can expect uh, while going through divorce litigation. The subject of this particular webcast is whether you need to hire a business lawyer to assist your family lawyer during your divorce litigation. And the answer to that is probably not. In most cases, a family lawyer is going to be able to handle things uh, just fine without hiring a, another lawyer. However, there are some unique circumstances where you might want to hire a separate lawyer for the business or even a separate lawyer for yourself. One, one of those circumstances might be where you have uh, either uncovered or participated in some sort of embezzlement or some sort of uh, shady business dealings in the business that might result in your tax return not being rep reported properly. It's very common in divorce situations where this comes up for that information to wind up in the uh, hands of the IRS or the Department of Justice. And sometimes it actually goes to, to criminal proceedings. If you know in advance that you have that problem, you need to tell your family lawyer and they need to get someone else involved in the case. The other example might be where you simply want to, and you don't mind spending the money to take a stand to not be bullied. There are people that, that will do that. And if so, you probably do need a separate lawyer for your business. Now, if you do need a separate lawyer for your business, there's a couple of things that need to be done. First of all, your family lawyer and your business lawyer need to sign a joint defense agreement. What that is, because the business lawyer generally represents the businesses and not the individual, it allows them to share information and still have it be protected by the privilege. Normally, attorney-client privilege is waived if in any information is, is given to someone not in the sphere of influence, some, someone who's not associated with the attorney or works for the attorney, etc. Uh, so that joint defense agreement is very important to have if in fact you do decide to bring in a business specialist into your divorce litigation. The other question that comes up commonly is can I use my CPA, my company CPA, to assist in the business litigation? Uh, and the answer to that is possibly, but it may not be wise to do so. The CPA most likely will also have discovery served upon them, and they may actually be a witness against you. Now, they do have privilege uh, in this state, in the state of Georgia. That's way, way too complicated for us to go into in this particular webcast. But it may be better for you because of that participation in your business long term. They may not be a suitable person for you to use. And if so, and you need someone on your side to uh, sort of handle the expert witnesses and to uh, make sure that, that you understand uh, how they arrived at that conclusion and, and they can be properly cross-examined, etc then you may want to hire your own person to do that. But as I say, that's the exception, not the rule. In most cases, your family lawyer is well equipped to handle these matters without your associating anybody else. I want to thank you for joining us on all of these educational webcasts. I hope they've been useful to you in giving you an overview of what to expect, and more importantly, giving you sufficient information so that you can intelligently discuss a matter with your family lawyer and allow him or her to properly represent you uh, because you are in better aware of the facts and better educated about what's going on around you. If you have any questions about this from me, please have your family lawyer call me uh, or email me at the address that you see at the end of this uh, webcast and we'll be happy to arrange some sort of a telephone consultation. I appreciate your tuning in, and have a great day.